Hello and welcome back to my reviews of various bike items. And after my last review of the uh, Tivelo S3, I had a few queries about my spin bike. And I think with the way the weather has been over the winter, indoor training has obviously become extremely important for most people. And so I was going to give you a review of my Stages SC3 spin bike. So, I have used one of these um, for a couple of years now. Actually, I used it in my gym for probably about a year or so um, over in London at H2 Clubs. And I really, really liked it. So after a bit of discussion, and my wife was quite keen on getting a spin bike, so obviously I decided to buy it for her. And um, I uh, got the Stages, Stages bike second hand off, off eBay. So how does it work? So it's actually really adjustable. Um, it's got a power meter on it, and I'll just show you one of these things. So, over here, first of all, we've got the saddle. You just undo one of these knobs and then pull it backwards and forwards. Lovely. And then, obviously, you've got this, so it goes up and down, so I can monitor on the back. It's got some sizes and stuff, so I can make sure I get it into the right position and lock it in. And then, we have up here the same thing for the handlebars, backwards and forwards. There we go. And then, we've got something here that goes up and down. So you can pretty much get into your position. And importantly, down here are the pedals and the power meter. So here we can see stages. So it's a stages power meter, um, commonly used on a lot of people with bikes and stuff. It's very accurate in my opinion. Um, and also on the back of the pedals, we have the mountain bike clipless. And then we've got the front with the cages. And I've been using the cages predominantly so I mainly ride road pedals. And here, last but not least, is the important painometer. Uh, this basically, you make it harder or you make it easier. It also has a sprint shift, so you can make it harder very quickly by going like this. It takes you up about 100 watts, up again another 150 or so watts. So uh, it takes you up there quickly instead of just pedaling around like that. So then, what, how do I use it? So I use it with a training app called Exert, and I also like to run Swift. So um, if I just wake the bike up, so if I just pedal it a few times, like here, you can basically see on the TV that the, the uh, power and the uh, cables are now connected. And I connected that via AND Plus, which goes through this cable here into the laptop, and then I just plug into the screen and say, Let's just see what have we got on here today. So let's just go into Utopia and then we'll just click right. And then I'm so, we'll leave that to the it was the link up. The other thing that I like to do is to have a training app playing at the same time. So I use Exert. And if I click onto settings in Exert, you'll see the power meter is picking up there as well with Bluetooth. So if I was to start pedaling again, does it pick up the power? So then we go back. So now I go back to that, and then I've got the cadence is picking up there as well. I go to my training, and then I can play the training workout at the same time. It gives me my different targets. You can see, I get on the bike now. So now I've now got my power up in the top left corner. And then that's how it works. So what are the advantages of this? So this means that um, I can basically change the height and the way of the bike rides um, for other people in the house. So it's not just me that's using it, so which uh, is quite a benefit. Um, the feel of this bike, in terms of the road feel, is superb. And, you know, I've ridden the Watt bike, I've ridden, you know, lots of trainers, um, but I have to say, this just feels really, really smooth, and it's just a really nice bike to ride. No problem with like an hour and a half, two hour ride on this. Not an issue. Um, disadvantages, well, it's not smart. So, if you're doing something like Swift and you're riding through one of these worlds with different gradients, you don't get the feel of the changing gradient as you might do with a smart trainer. 
I don't find that an issue when I'm doing stuff that's based on power targets. <laughs> so, uh, so I'm going to say it's not too much of a problem, but if I'm racing on Zwift, then I don't get the same kind of feel as to the drafting, as to the changes in grading that you might do with a smart trainer. So it might make that a little bit harder, but it's not too bad. Overall, I'm super pleased with it. Stages SC3, definitely a thumbs up from me.